hold on a minute Charles, you're telling me that you go to your lake four and a half mile walk without a towel. So what about all the mud and everything? I mean, when you go in the rain and everything like that. Yep, that's right. Even when it's raining, snowing, anything, any sort of brute force from the weather, gale storm, you know, although we have to be careful because we do get some pretty bad hurricanes sometimes. We had a tree, in fact, it's over there now, that fell down. I've got a little video actually with my friends, which I'll show you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what do you do? How do you get all that mud off you? Well, strategy. I tend to wear two pairs of socks. <laughs> one pair for drying my feet and another pair for wearing. And when I put the ones on that I'm wearing, I then put the ones that I've dried my feet and cleaned the mud off and shake the sock around and put it over the top. Now, some people won't want to do that and I totally respect that. Maybe carry a little bag with you and put the dirty socks into the bag and put them in your pocket, that's fine. But you're not going to wear your best outfit coming to this place. You know, you're going to wear some walking boots or you're going to wear old clothes, stuff that you don't mind getting dirty because you know that you're coming to the wilderness, essentially, and you're going to get in the water and you're, you know, you're going to get muddy. That's what happens. So how do you get dry? Well, I'm on a bench now. When I get here, what I tend to do is I stand on the bench like this, right? And I dry my foot, right, on the bench, and then I put my shoe on, okay? So I'm already somewhere where it's not going to get muddy, okay? If I'm on the floor, if I stand on the floor, I'm going to have my feet essentially in the mud, if it's raining particularly. So I'm going to have my feet in the mud, and it's going to be tricky. Whereas I could go down to the water edge, dip my foot in, then pull it out if it's like today, dry. So it stops me. When I get out, I've got wet feet, so I'm going to get muddy feet. If I dip my foot in, pull it out, dry it out, then put the dry sock on, put my shoe on, I've got that problem. Same with the other foot. So that's another way. It seems so ridiculous now when I talk about it, but these are the things, these are the little tricks that I've learned over the, like nearly three years that I've been coming here. And so, isn't it better that I, if you already know this or you're not, you know, maybe you'll forget your towel one day. And if you do, this might be a useful little thing to know. Two pairs of socks. Oh, I've only got one pair of socks. Never mind, I'll just use my socks. I mean, what else are you going to do? Not get in? That's okay if you don't want to get in. But you want to get in. So, make the most of it, get in, and use your socks to dry your feet. <laughs> of course, in that very moment, you know, I'm taking my life in my own hands because it's a bit of an expensive foam. But it's supposedly water resistant. Supposedly. Supposedly water resistant. So, yeah, it's warmer today. But then the sun's out and it's been beating down on the water for a while, so maybe that's something to do with it. But uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an experience of that, you know, that I can't give you the temperature and I can't give you the wildlife, I can't give you the real thing says a lot about these things doesn't it you know and everything else where the internet and everything's concerned it's a wonderful window into other people's lives but until you experience things yourself it'll only be a window baby <laughs>